Hello friends, on this channel I help you to design good looking mobile applications and we also discuss strategies to be a good mobile app developer and in today's video we're looking at how to animate a border linear gradient in Xamarin forms but before we continue uh, the Xamarin Forms Monster class is currently at a discount and the discount is actually ending today by 11.59 pm so if you are here to take advantage of that discount you want to do that right now before the discount comes to an end so that being said let's get started all right so i have just studio 2019 open uh, right here and uh, you want to make sure that you have uh, the latest version of xamarin forms installed that is uh, 4.8.0.1687 and also the next thing you have to do is to make sure that in your app.xamarin.cs or anywhere in your application you want to uh, set these flags because we are going to make use of the shapes class and the brush class and currently we are still both in experimental stage as at 4.8 by 5.0 this will go away so you need to do this uh right away all right so um let's continue and design our page i'm going to run this now so that we can use auto reload as we go uh so let me just run this so now let's go to our main page the xaml or cs uh, in our main page uh, what we are going to see is the default uh the default uh, information that comes when you create a new project so what i'm going to do is to remove all this uh currently i'm going to start with a grid uh, as usual and i'm going to add some properties to it um, horizontal option uh, fill and expand vertical option fill and expand so i haven't done this uh we were again just going to create something very simple i'm going to uh, put some things in a stack layout so I'm going to have a stack layout right here um, and inside the stack layout, I want a grid uh, that will hold uh, my image and uh, a rectangle. So I have, I'm going to put an image right here uh, inside this grid. Inside this grid, I'm going to put an image, image, um, I'm just going just to close it uh, like this. Okay. And right before, uh, and this image, uh, let's just set the source uh, to xmas or png. I already have this uh, image in my resource folder. Uh, let's just set aspect to uh, aspect fill. Uh, margin to 10. So I want this to have a border, but I'm going to use a rectangle for the border. So set the margin to 10 and the, the border for the uh, rectangle is going to be 10 uh, units. So that's I'm putting this at 10. Then horizontal option, vertical option. I'm going to set this to uh, fill and expand. All right. So let's see. So this is what we have. I've saved. You can see that we have the image now. Okay. So now before this image, I want to put a rectangle uh, right, uh, you know, uh, at the first, uh, uh, at the background, because this image will be at the top. So I'm going to have a rectangle and this rectangle, I'm going to set the width and height request to 300. I want it to be at the center. Uh, uh, now that's this what I'm supposed to do. I have to use a rectangle. Um, copy the, the wrong thing. So it's a rectangle that I need to put uh, the width and height request to, uh, uh, we're not setting the width and height request, you just want it to fill and expand. So, but the horizontal option and vertical option is set to fill and expand. Then uh, right in this rectangle, uh, we have a stroke of 10. If I save this, I'm very sure we're not going to see anything yet. So you can see, I don't have anything uh, right here. So what we now want to do is to set the uh, stroke for the rectangle. So I'm going to do rectangle uh, dot uh, stroke dot stroke. So in this uh, stroke now, we want to pass in a linear gradient brush. Um, if you can see right here, we have this rectangle name. So we're going to make use of the name in the code. Uh, that's why we have to name it. 
and we, inside this linear brush now we want to add two gradient stops so i'm going to add gradient stop so i want to give the gradient stop a name because we want to use it uh in code so let's call this one till till grade or grad uh whatever the pronunciation is and let's set the color to uh something like pound 56d 9 be so we have this gradient then offset let's start the offset to zero and end this now if i save this uh we should be able to see uh, uh this is complaining these two colors to be able to work with okay uh there's a problem with the I, i'm supposed to have two colors before this gradient can work so i'm going to copy this now and paste and call this one the orange orange grad and i'm going to set the color to something like ee 7752 uh i'm going to continue this now and run this again so we have uh we have ee uh, 7752 as the gradient uh, right here so the next thing i want to do in this stack layout is just to add a text a uh, very simple text uh, the color is going to be black horizontal option center and what's just going to say is that uh, santa claus is coming to town i'm going to save this now uh we can see that well right in our uh gradient stop right here i forgot to change this to uh one so from zero to one if i save this now you be able to see it so you can see this gradient is currently working now so now we have our design the next thing we need to do is to now animate it so let's go to our code behind to animate this um so go to main page of xaml.cs and uh want to create a method let's just call the method animate uh let's just say uh private void let's call it animate animate border so right here now uh we want an action if you have been following this channel very well you'll be familiar with some of these things i want to do uh action is going to be of type double and um we we'll call this uh till till movement and let's set it to a variable let's say t input t input and now from here we now want to call the the offset of that till so till till grad dot offset we want to set it to uh is a type of float so we have to cast it to float float t t input okay so we need the second action for the orange movement so i'm going to copy this now and call this uh, orange movement so we're going to say o input i'm going to set this to o input so those are the two actions uh, not this this whole o input so those are the two actions that we need uh, in our animation so we're now going to do something like uh while while true uh we want to animate the rectangle so we already have a, a, the name for the rectangle uh right here uh, what was the name called main rect so we're now going to say uh, main rect dot animate and uh let's give it the name the name is going to be let's call it uh forward so this is going forward uh the callback we want the callback to be uh till movement that is the action right there so we want it to uh till movement not till grad till movement so we want the stats of the animation to be from zero uh we want the end to be at one because um 
the gradient is from offset is from 0 to 1 then we want the length to be at uh, like one second that's 1000 milliseconds so let's do the length uh g t length is uh, 1000 uh millisecond then easing we want the easing uh to be uh easing dot sign in you can you can experiment with different type of easing and you know, see the one that works best for you so after this now we want to delay because this this is going to be running uh synchronously so we want to do uh await uh tax dot delay we want to delay it for the same 1000 uh millisecond and delay this so that this animation will finish uh so i'm going to make this async so that this animation is going to finish uh before going to the next one so this is going to move the uh till till animation forward uh from zero to one then we now want to return it back from zero uh from uh one to zero so i'm going to copy this same thing uh because we are still making use of it so right here this is going to be let's let's call it uh backward backward uh it's still going to be till movement but this time around it's going to be from one to zero okay then we're going to we are going to uh delay it again so now we now need for the orange so i'm going to copy this uh four set four lines of code and duplicate it and change because we're going to do the same thing for the orange the same thing that we've done for uh the teal we're going to do for orange so i'm going to copy this and then uh, paste so we're going to call this forward two and let's call this backward two uh the call back is going to be or orange movements the callback for here is also going to be orange movements and uh, this is going to be from one because it's starting at one already is at one already so from one to zero and here from zero back to one all right so the next thing i want to do now is at this place because we don't want our block to trade to, to block uh, this will be on the UI thread. So if since you are using a while loop and uh, this is going to always return true, this can give us an infinite loop and it can block the UI thread. So in order for the UI thread not to block, we have to do uh, task dot run. So this is going to run on a different thread and just call the animate border uh, method like this. So with this, the UI thread will not uh, be blocked. So let's run this now. And then see what we have. We're able to see our animation going uh, back and forth, back and forth around uh, the image that we have right here. So let's just wait for this to load. Uh, currently loading. All right. So as you can see, from teal to orange, from orange to teal. So you can see it's working. Uh, the easing delay so uh, i'm noticing some uh, abnormal behavior i don't know okay so there's an abnormal behavior if you notice here and it's not smooth at the second stage so i noticed that we made a mistake at this point this is one issue with copy and paste this is supposed to be uh orange grad orange grad dot offset so right here we're supposed to put orange grad here okay so let's run this again and then see we should, we should have a smooth animation now so at this stage this is this is for the teal and this is for the orange color so if you notice any abnormal behavior try to check uh, if you are if you are doing the correct thing right here so by now you can see it's moving from orange to teal to orange orange to teal you can see like that so we have smooth animation around uh around the image all right guys that is how you animate the border uh using linear gradient in xamarin forms if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to put a thumbs up it's good for the algorithm help uh the channel to grow and if you yet to subscribe 
what are you waiting for subscribe now so i can build a good community together and continue to learn and improve our uh, better and don't forget if you're here to take advantage of this amarin forms master class discount it is ending today by 12 midnight so you want to quickly do that so that you won't miss out of it thank you very much for watching this video and i will see you in the next one